My name is Taylor Bennett, and this is my final presentation for photography. The first picture seen is a representation of composition. Composition consists of the rule of thirds, visual weight, leading lines, and the triangle rule. The rule of thirds helps assist the photographer in placing and positioning the objects in the picture. Visual weight refers to an object in the picture drawing more attention to the viewer's eyes than other objects. Leading lines guide the viewer's eyes and can be visually pleasing. An example of leading lines includes road lines and track lines. The triangle rule in a picture refers to the placement of the family in a triangular position. In this picture, leading lines can be seen in the American flag. Um, the American flag is also in the upper third of the picture. In the middle third of the picture, the top of the candle is seen, as well as some of the lights. In the bottom third of the picture, the lights are well seen, as well as the bottom third of the candle. This picture is special to me because it is a part of my aunt's memorial at my mom's house. The lighting in this picture also gives this picture a sense of comfort. This slide shows the picture I took to represent dappled light. The rule of thirds was followed in this picture. The doghouse is in the first vertical third of the picture, which, which helps to draw the viewer's eyes to the doghouse. The trees are in the top third of the picture. The doghouse, along with its shadow, is part of the middle third of the picture, and the sticks and the leaves on the ground can be found in the bottom third of this picture. And this is taken at my house, um, just up on the hill. Exposure is a large part of photography. It can affect if your picture is too light or too dark. Exposure relies on ISO, aperture, and the shutter speed. Noise in a picture can make a picture appear to be blurry. Soft light, hard light, dappled light, and window light are different light settings that a picture can be taken in. Soft light includes no harsh shadows and a soft appearance of the object or person. Harsh light can be seen with shadows casted on the ground and can make a person or object the focus of the picture if the picture is taken correctly. Dappled light includes the sun shining through objects with the sunbeams present. Additionally, window light is just as it sounds, window light. Window light can appear to make a background look darker while the object or person appears to have light casted upon them or it. The black and white project was one of my favorite projects during photography. Black and white pictures can alter a person's emotions about an object just as this one pictured. This welcome sign has nothing significant on it besides it being a welcome sign with a blank Wi-Fi password chalkboard. The black and white effect on this picture along with a blurred background make this picture aesthetically pleasing. The positioning of the sign in this picture also follows the rule of thirds and leading lines are used by the trim work on the walls which direct the viewer's eyes to the sign rather than the background. And depth of field is also used in this picture due to the background being behind the sign. There are three different perspectives in photography. One point perspective, two point perspective, and three point perspective. In this picture, I utilized a three-point perspective by capturing the picture on the side of the building. The front of the building is seen, as well as the side of the building. Additionally, the top of the building is seen in a point appearance, which makes this picture a three-point perspective picture. With this picture, the rule of thirds are followed because the sky is at the top third of the picture, the building, which is the main focus, is in the middle third of the picture, and the bottom third of the picture is the road. The portrait project was my absolute favorite project in photography. This project gave me an excuse to get out of the house and explore Coonskin Park with my two-year-old daughter. With the portraits I have taken, all rules learned in photography class have been applied. The rule of thirds is applied in this picture where my daughter's eyes meet the top third vertical and horizontal imaginary lines. This draws viewer, viewer's eyes to my daughter's eyes. My daughter's eyes are a green, blue, and gray color. Additionally, in this picture, not a lot of the whites of her eyes are shown, which brings out the color in her eyes. The background is blurred, which makes the focus of this picture on my daughter. Additionally, the background of this picture contains dull colors, 
and my daughter has on a bright outfit which also draws in the viewer's eyes. And that concludes my final presentation for photography. This has been one of my favorite classes that I have taken so far, and I plan to utilize all the tips and tricks I have learned in this class to capture many pictures in the future. Thank you.